What's up today? We're gonna talk about friends in your environment. A lot of us grew up around guns, drugs, gangs, and we end up toting guns, joining gangs, selling drugs. Our mamas told us the same shit we tell our kids. Go to school, get education, blah, 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 blah. We ain't listen to that shit because the environment overpowered that shit. It's time for a fucking change. Basically, uh, change is better. If you change your situation, you will never know the fruits that will come from that shit. I'm going to go straight into some examples. My brother was my brother-in-law. He's still my brother. Fuck that. My brother, Tyrone. That nigga is stone to the bone from Motown. In Chicago, kind of struggled. That nigga moved out of town, and in less than a year, he didn't cop them. A red and black car, stone ass nigga. Keep red and black Jordans, red and black bulls hat. Doing his thing, married his beautiful ass wife, Tay Tay. Hey, Tay Tay. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they got their family, and they enjoying fucking life. Moving on. My cousin, Marty. Savage in the street. That nigga was bitty till the world blew up. The world ain't blew up, so he still be there. Streets, savage. Move to Iowa. Man, I done seen them at football parties, cooking Sunday dinners for his family. Every Sunday, they sit down and eat together and talk about life and all types of shit. He about to get married. Congratulations, bro. And I'm proud of that nigga. All out. Got a good job. Last time he came up and we, man, we bought so much liquor. Money wasn't no object, and last but not least, man, he came up in a Hummer, and I showed Joe that motherfucker too. Like, let me see him. Hold on, my cousin. Let me see. Squirt, my cousin Squirt. You like a cousin of me from the same block. Squirt. That nigga told me a story once to change my whole perception of shit. He was like, bro, me and Ty were sitting in the jail cell. They was rappers. Ty from our same block. Rest in peace, big bro. I miss you, bro. Love you. He say, man, him and T.Y. was talking, and they was like, niggas talk about niggas like Tune them that just put down they pack and just walk the fuck away from the block and go get a job. He was like, but them niggas be out partying, kicking it, having fun, and living their life, and we end up in here for so many years of ours. Who really the goofy? I was like, wow, that shit was mind blowing. I ain't never forget that shit, bro. Much love to you, bro. I love you, bro. And he he moved out of town, too. He got married. Family man shit. Grown man shit, you already know. He got a beautiful-ass wife, T. Salute to y'all. You know what I'm saying? And last but not least, I'm going to talk about myself. What made me move is I got a phone call from my daughter. My daughter witnessed a teenage kid get mac down. And I ain't talking about, like, by a chick or a dude macking somebody down. No, I'm talking about, like, with a Mac 11, nigga. He got hit up. And they watched him get hit up. And they watched him slumped over the stairs. They seen that shit. And they called me like, Daddy, we scared. I was on the road. They like, Daddy, we scared, man. We this, this, and this. And I was like, that's the last fucking straw. We moving. We fucking moving. Basically, like, we moved. It was quick. And I moved to, me and my ex-wife split up. She was fair. I got to give a shout out to her for being fair, man, through the whole divorce, man. Much love. But I had to refurnish my house, so I had to find somewhere that was affordable. Because I had to refurnish my house, take care of my kids, help with her shit, help with my... Man, it was crazy. So I had to find somewhere fair. I still managed to move to the north side of town, which is the best side of town. Put it like this. If you took my neighborhood, the schools around it, and the place I stay, and moved it, to Chicago, it would be up north. That's number one. And it probably would go for in between $1,700 and $2,100 a month. Easy. I pay $521 a month. And that's every cent. $521 a month. And my house came equipped with nice space and a nice-ass balcony. And on that nice-ass balcony, I could sit there and smoke my cigarettes and eat my freeze pops. And Look at this nice ass swimming pool, big as hell. My kids play in it all fucking summer long. And a nice ass tennis court right on top of the swimming pool. Like swimming pool right here, tennis court right there. 
And you look to the left, it's a nice ass park. Stay clean and trimmed. And my kids are able to play and I'm able to watch it. I'm like, stay away from that boy. Hey, dude, stay the hell away from my daughter, you know. But they little innocent kids and shit. My kids stay in a diverse neighborhood with their mama. And they stay in a diverse neighborhood when they come to me. Diverse meaning black, white, Spanish, Asian. All my neighbors. The point is, you put yourself and your kids around successful people. You not only will triple or quadruple your chances of you being successful, or your kids being successful. You attend tuple it. <laughs> that ain't even a word. I know. I know that ain't no word. I'm saying, you gotta ask yourself a question. Do you want your kids to be vice lords or landlords? And last but not least, the slogan. If you don't want to end up in a box, think outside of it. Why be?